Hey everyone, it's Kerry Place here. Welcome back to the channel and another video. As you can tell from the title, today I am building my dream home. This was requested by a couple of subscribers. It was already planned on my list anyway. I just have a very long list of things I want to build. And for this video, you're going to see me because there is a lot of rooms. You'll see me start off the room, but probably not finish it or see some more of the room further on into decorating it but don't worry i am going to be doing a live tour with you and i'll go through everything and you'll see all the full details then so stay tuned for that let me just speculate on what i mean by my dream home in real life i don't actually have a real dream home i was gonna say a real home then i do have a real home <laughs> i don't have a real dream home i'm just happy that i have a home that i can live in with my family so my dream home is based on what i think my sims would like or what i would like if i did get to be able to have a big house only thing is i wouldn't look after the house myself i would hire a maid and a gardener and a repairman to do it all for me because that would be a lot for me to do in this home you are going to find a pool which you've just seen a backyard for my two children that i have both boys i also have four bedrooms we have a master with an ensuite i have my two boys bedrooms and a guest bedroom because usually when there isn't a pandemic my nieces and nephews come to stay very often so i would like them to have a room but i don't want them to have a child's room i wanted them to have a room that they could have for when they are older when they still come and stay there are three bathrooms a half bath downstairs family bathroom and the ensuite the house when I had finished it cost 297,027 simoleons. There is a closet downstairs and a uh, next to the kitchen. There is a games room next to the kitchen. There is also two offices and mine is going to be upstairs and my partner's is going to be downstairs. I have a laundry room upstairs, a full open entryway and a upstairs balcony a downstairs back and front porch so like i said you're going to see me just start the rooms and then in the tour i will go through each room fully and this is what i meant by an open entryway the high ceiling up to the stairs so um in my other house that my sim cell family lived in it was very glitchy it was becoming impossible to play with my in real life house because for some other reason one of the children couldn't leave the house if another child was in my pantry area if you haven't seen that video i will link it down below and in the i card and he couldn't go to school and he couldn't get back in the house or go to school so it, it was glitching out for probably because it's a very small house it's only a two bedroom small house so you'll see it if you go and watch that video what i mean by small house so everybody was struggling to maneuver around the house with everything we have in real life and where it's placed so i said we need a new home so i'm going to build us the home that we would want so my little one he loves the color yellow so he's going to be having a yellow and blue bedroom my oldest he loves the color red so he's going to be having a red and white bedroom and you'll see a lot of that going up on the walls for these bedrooms i'll show you the finish of it in the tour like i said um because he's the oldest he wanted two wardrobes i said that was fine they got to choose in real life their bedroom that they wanted from the build because i told them what i was doing and they wanted to choose i said that's fine the guest room i didn't want it to have too much character but i wanted it to have a welcoming aspect to it my office obviously has to be pink because that is just my favorite my partner's is going to be green you'll see all the bathrooms in the tour we'll head into the games room soon as well that is a blue room now for some other reason with the games room i was a little bit silly and i placed the i think it's a tennis table ping pong table one of the two i don't remember what it's called and i put it around into the window and it's a wall and forgot that two people have to play the game not one so <laughs> uh, but i haven't tested out the house yet 
so what I can do is if I do end up moving a lot of things around due to being unable to use or play them I will do a quick in real life dream home family video family update video so the floor plan was complicated <laughs> I because I didn't know how I wanted my house I knew what I want in my house I knew I wanted an office my part I want partner wanted an office I knew we would need four bedrooms I've always wanted a separate laundry room upstairs so I was like I have to fit in my laundry room upstairs and I've always wanted to have a pool as well so that's what I based the build for the house off of and everything looks good it looks good I'm, I'm happy with the end result of what came out I'm pretty excited about the kitchen the color theme of this changes so you will see that in the tour as well but I'm happy to have a really large kitchen with this breakfast island and also a dining table and a bar as well so you'll see that later on the living room is red and gray because that's what my in real life living room is and I love that color theme so I wanted to keep that for the big house. My children did help me decide what they wanted to put on the pool, water, their floaters. So, because they were watching me build it. It took me four days to build this house and fully complete it. Um, but I didn't want to make the video obviously that long. And I didn't want to make it too long so i took out a lot of the little details just kept in a couple of them and i said i'd do i thought i'd do a live tour because this is my dream home this time once the living room is finished then that, that's it we're going to be heading into the tour so just for a minute i'm going to leave you here and then you'll hear me again once i start doing the tour so if you have made it this far into the video thank you so much do consider subscribing i really can't english today <laughs> do consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave your comments down below i'm looking forward to seeing those and i will see you in the live tour in just a little while this is the outside i gotta have my splash of pink going on here because it's me of course i did originally have the bin at the back of the house and then i decided to move it to the front because they had a long way to go before they actually got to the bin so these are my pretty full flowers lots of pink i think it's autumn in my game right now so some of the colors are probably off a little bit so this is the entrance i've always wanted one of those open porches that lead to the main door so that's what we have here big massive arch i love this arch i didn't know we had it i found it so i was like yes this one this one is perfect as you can also tell the outside of the the wallpaper on the outside has changed i got all of this greenery climbing up the house and because i had these two green pieces here i wanted to add those to the top of the house as well so it brought it all together so off to the left here we have some climbing pink plants and uh, my children's school bags and our coats and shoes it makes sense to have them outside and then on this side i've popped my children's bikes because obviously they wouldn't ride them through the house to get them to the back of the house going in through the door you're met by this little table it actually has different legs i just put the i think it's muschino I think it's a sculpture stand thingy. I have no idea what all these items are called. Got some splash of pink going on here. Very big open archways onto everything. And then off to this side is just a storage room. I'll probably pop the mail on the top at some point. And then we I pieced two things together. This is a planter inside of the vase. And I thought that would look nice and sweet. And if we look up, it is full open and all the way to the top so i also want to apologize if anything has disappeared we have found a glitch where the windows in mirrors disappear not the windows the walls in the mirrors disappear this is the living room i in real life have a red and gray living room and i wanted to keep that color because it's a really really nice color 
one of my little ones is talking is talking to his teacher so i got some books stored over here for the kids and all their school things then moving around we've got a clock we've got just a, a couple of toys on the floor down here but you'll see all their toys later on the fireplace which i should have turned on before i did the tour but never mind really big seating tvs up there fire alarm because for some no reason when i play the sims my fireplace seems to set whatever is around it on fire so i have to have a fire alarm got this piece of decor picture and i enlarged this as you probably already know this is the exit way if that's even a word we've got the lighting up here i enlarged this picture also got this picture and just a little something here so it didn't look empty because i just don't like that big door to get out and then we come on out into the first porch and we've got some planting and these lights are so cool i just had to use it this time big door and then this is our seating area this is actually a wall with the windows in i wanted to block it off for winter so we can still enjoy the space even though it's open there for the stairs but i liked that we got drinks we got some books because i'd probably definitely come out here and sit and read just some pretty full flowers the kids and my sun cream because we'd be putting that on a lot in summer obviously it wouldn't be there in the rest of the year it would be inside but just for feels we did this moving down the stairs we come out to the kids playroom you didn't see me put in the shark slide in in the video but i decided to add it for the kids for the summer i just need to test that they can actually get to play on it as well as the pirate ship and of course i have to have some pink flowers in my garden and i have two big massive pink trees also then we've got the kids swing set and i didn't do the terrain how bad of me and then moving around we come to the spaceship they wanted both when i was going through the build building it the kids asked for both when i shown them what we could have in a play in our playground oh and the basketball hoop as well and then you can see some of the outside of the house here quick look up there and then a quick look to the side here as well and then the pool i popped in this because i'm sure the kids will enjoy that in the summer then this is my float this whale the pizza one is my oldest the green one is my partner's and this multicolored one is my youngest because he just loves either multicolored things or all things yellow now i know a lot of people don't like this hot tub but i wanted a hot tub outside but i wanted one with shelter and this is the only design from it that i liked so that's what we're having then we got some relaxation space going on over here and i did not realize that that umbrella was inside the tree pretend that didn't happen <laughs> this is my kitchen in real life my kitchen is pink not in your face pink it's a good pink and i first had this kitchen brown to match the bar and the cabinets but i didn't put the walls pink at first and then i changed my mind right at the very end so this is what we have a little table centerpiece and then some big lights it totally worked for this room a bar area i was so unsure about the shelving but it ended up fitting perfectly then i got some hanging plants which i've been loving recently we got the mugel bled and some jugs and drinks on this side table and i popped this in for the kids because i probably would store all their little things in the kitchen if i had a big enough kitchen to make sure they're not taking things out that they can't have unsupervised then we got this uh planner thing going on and i didn't realize i put it upstairs in the laundry as well but it's okay we're gonna have two because we can and then i love this mirror effect for this behind the oven it reaches right far back into the living room and I think it's just really, really cool. Now, I know it's going to get mucky if we had this in real life from all the cooking, but that's what my maid's for because I would totally have one in this house. We've got plenty of high storage. Now, I'm a very short girl, so I'd need stepladders to get up there. And then we got the popcorn maker because who does not want a popcorn maker? Then I got my menu. I always plan every week 
menu meals that we want we don't necessarily have them on a specific day i just write them down and say hey let's have this this week and then in my kitchen sink and we've got the place to sit of quick eating and then family eating we have dun, 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 the downstairs half bath nice and blue nice and tall because i did all tall walls for this i think it's just this level just the bottom level was the tall walls and then we've got a lovely toilet section over here and i love that picture then going in oh i forgot the door was running so going in through this door is a closet where we just store all things that we need different times of the year spare things decorations so this is like the cleaning linen storage closet thing of everything moving in to the room on the right this is the games family room now my oldest will probably go to scouts in the game so i made sure he had this board that paranormal wallpaper oh i love it it was a different color in the vi in the build video i think it was darker and then in the end i changed my mind and went for a lighter color because everything in here was dark blue and it was clashing i felt and then i realized that you need to have two people get to this table but i'm gonna play with them and see if they can play with it and if they can't i will rearrange the room somehow We've got some dots which the kids can learn when they're older and then the games console moving on we're going to go up the stairs to the landing i'd call it so those doors lead on to the closed off deck which i'll show you this is the landing so we've got chess table and sofa because maybe they want to play chess but they want to sit and chat so i did that this humongous light i love this light and this view looking down is just yes 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 nice big sculpture on the wall here i love these sliding doors i actually didn't know what doors to use it took me a while to decide and then over on this side we've got the piano the guitar the violin and the microphone as if they're gonna learn music together that'd be nice i thought for the for my family we're not actually real musical people but i needed something to fill this space for my sims so i gave them this and then this sofa for people to sit and watch fish tank with currently no fishing but we're going to work on that so in here is my laundry room yay my upstairs laundry room i was telling you about and i'm going to just go down so you can see what's under here so i'd probably end up with random papers in my laundry room and i do apologize for the game doing that and just tissues spare toothbrushes all good things like that i'm always writing and sometimes when i'm waiting if i have a couple of minutes left on my dryer i'd probably stand and just quickly write something or check my to-do list of what's coming up next for the day got some laundry towels dried and laundry to go put away now i put this robot in here because i constantly find my children's toys everywhere so that's why that's in here and then we just got some folded towels and spare shower gels and bath stuff and then obviously i'd hang all the clothes up here once some of them are dried or drying and uh, linen for pillows bedding all that good stuff towels the chart that i put downstairs as well apparently two baskets and i only put them in this room because i didn't want to be going to every single room in the house to do the laundry the socks picture and just this one up here oh the fire alarm because apparently my dryer always sets everything on fire as well and just a little clock to tell me the time while i'm doing some laundry this door is the guest bedroom so i was saying i wanted it to be welcoming and nice and my nieces and nephews would probably stay in this room they have a built-in wardrobe not that they need one but they'd put their things in there temporarily for the night or the weekend possibly just some lamps on the bedside table comfy bed and they have this beautiful leaf light i like this light they have a big mirror to see themselves somewhere to sit while they get dressed or pop their clothes after they've got changed these lovely little pictures i thought were nice add on and then just this console table something to drink during the night tissues if they need them and towels if they want to take a shower while they're here moving into this bedroom this is my listless bedroom his favorite color is yellow and we wanted the yellow to be with the blue to go with this spotty wall he chose that himself he's got lots of little lights going on he's got a desk so that he can do his homework he's got a drawing pad he loves drawing 
He's got robots to play, alien, yellow alien to play. He loves playing with Hot Wheel cars, so he's got a car to represent Hot Wheels. He's got some pictures up there to pretend he's made some memories. He's got a big cuddly teddy. He, he loves teddies, absolutely loves teddies. He's always pinching mine. And then he's got some tissues and he does also like to read as well. He's got his own lovely closet, some comfy pillows to sit on and read some books and a little dolly toy because the children need them in the sims and he saw this when i was decorating and he wanted it so i said he could sit on the yellow chair then and then his little bed and he's got a little something here to look at while he goes to sleepies around here should be my eldest bedroom yeah his favorite color is red and i really can't english today he loves transformers they both do so they have a robot that's representing the Transformers. He's a big achiever, my oldest. he They both are, but obviously my oldest is higher because he's uh, older. He's got some posters up of things he likes. He's got a pirate chest. He's got some toys out he's been playing with. And the bear thing again. He's got his own bookshelf also and his own desk to do his homework as well as some pillows to be comfy and sit on. He's got a calendar so he can learn dates and days, well he knows days of the week but so he can see what days he's on. His double wardrobe with a mirror in the middle and he has a arts and crafts thing here as well as a big robot and his red teddy to sit on a chair and also a cuddly toy but moving back out here you can see all the glass windows and apparently it's turning dark in my game this just leads onto a closed off balcony but i thought in winter instead of using the downstairs one we'd use this one instead and we could still enjoy the view and the nighttime view now you can't really see it through this one in sims but i love all this wood the wood the wood the wood in here is the family bathroom i went with my favorite wallpaper again because i'm obsessed with it and that's what i mean by the wall disappears in a mirror thank you all large mirror because who doesn't need a large mirror and then a mirror just a small mirror for the sink just in case they don't want to use the big one the big one could be for when they're checking out a new outfit i've just decided some spare towels only a radiator in the bathroom because it's the only time that i remember a radiator this is the plant i use downstairs to hide in the plant pot in the entryway but it's smaller downstairs toilets toilet roll bath towels there's shower gel and flannels the bath and then the shower the wash baskets that don't work with laundry day but the others do so i pop them in so i didn't have to come to two different places and in this one this is my office this is going to be where i'm going to be making everything youtube so i got a wardrobe over here to get changed if i'm doing more than one video in one day and change the t-shirt so it doesn't look like i've done more than one video in one day lovely pictures on the wall making mixing music table i'm sure that's what that is a bin because everybody needs a bin in their office we have the these are the two different editing stations that come in the game but i would technically only have one but one is for more viewers and one is for more subscribers i think i don't remember what the other one is for got some tissues going on i always end up getting a runny nose after i've sneezed for some reason i don't wear makeup in real life but i do wear moisturizer and sun cream so that's what this is representing i'd sit here and put all of my things on i need i wear makeup very very rarely then my actual recording station and then over here is our bedroom now our bedroom in real life is actually navy blue it's blue but i made it black and white in here so i got a relaxation space just so i can meditate and be in my own zone just for a little yeah. while and then uh, i put loads of plants on here because the bottom shelf lets you add a plant this one lets you add a plant this one lets you add a plant and this one lets you add a plant and i didn't know the first time using those <laughs> bedside table i always sleep nearest the door in real life so this side will probably be mine with a i always have a book on my bedside table 
and some tissues to my partner's side and then this one lets you add things as well i added this up here i added the hand and the silhouette picture the little pink owl thingy and the little butterfly picture lets you add those we've got a big plant another big picture a spa chair because why not then i've got the yoga mat here and somewhere to sit and pop on my shoes or my clothes and then a big picture on the wall here and again with the paranormal wallpaper i'm sure it's paranormal then we got the dressing table that's what we call them here space looks lovely and then a walk-in wardrobe because who does not want a walk-in wardrobe then going in through this little door is our ensuite bathroom so as you can see the big mirror a lovely large plant i did not realize it looked that big when you stood there we've got the sink we've got towel we've got hanging plants above the toilet because why not i probably have them bake and spray them with room spray so it smells really nice some storage big large tub because i can and a big lovely shower with my shower stuff in there again with the laundry basket that doesn't work but this is it from above so you can see where the office is where the family bathroom is how the closet and our bathroom and bedroom fit together the open hallway and the hallway the closed off balcony and then the children's rooms and the guest rooms down a little bit we come in here and then this is the entryway to the big stairs exit way onto this porch and then dad's green office and how did i do it did i go in here completely missed it okay let me just show you dad's green office so dad dad would record from the computer here and play his games here and then he'd head on to any of the editor stations and do his thing over there because the post is clocked telling the time because he's, we're both very good at losing track of the time let's just go up then and actually look at the floor plan now so the exit way, the office, which I apparently forgot because I'm silly. The big, large living room. This is what it looks like from above. And then the big, large kitchen. This is what this looks like from above. The closet and the half bath. I can't control this camera. It's absolutely terrible. And then obviously the games room as well and i think that's it so i want to say thank you very much for coming and joining me today i hope you enjoyed taking a look at my dream home oh look my husband well my partner and my oldest child and do subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying my content and you're not subscribed to the channel yet don't forget to leave your comments down below and i will see you all in my next video bye for now